three of the things that I'm really passionate about are the environment, education, and mapping. And so what I've done here with this lesson plan is to bring all three of those things together. And so the idea is to look at how we can collect data with mobile devices or smartphones. And in this case, the information or data that we're going to collect is the location of rubbish, perhaps in your school grounds or maybe somewhere out in the local community like a park or the beach. So with smartphones, we'll go out, collect rubbish, pick it up, throw it in the rubbish bin, but as we're doing that, we're going to mark the locations where we find those individual pieces of rubbish. And then once we come back, we can start to analyze where those litter points were found. And so once we can pull all that together, we can start to figure out where we have patterns of litter. Then once we have this data and we start to really build a story of where litter is located in the environment, particularly if there's specific hotspots around where you're looking, are there particular types of litter that you're always seeing? And can you make some decisions as part of your school or community about certain products where maybe you'll decide that you don't want to use those anymore? So a good example is if you're finding a lot of straws around, perhaps that's something that you can look at deciding to take the straw no more pledge, for example. But we can also use this information to have a think about, do you have enough rubbish bins located on the campus of your school? And if not, are there some optimal locations where you should be placing those bins to make sure that the rubbish actually makes it into the rubbish bin as opposed to dirtying your local campus? So really hope that you enjoy collecting data here and analyzing what you have and perhaps even branching out to collecting spatial data about other things on your school campus as well.